hello my beautiful people welcome to our youtube channel the nollywood actor and filmmaker murphy afolabi is said to be buried today at his hometown according to the report we've received the oshogo indigen will be buried in his hometown today may 15th the sad news of his death hit the online community hours ago and has left many devastated starting from his colleagues to his fans the actor and director was confirmed dead by his colleague Tunde Ola Yusuf on his Instagram page who alongside prayed for his soul to rest in peace as he bade the actor farewell he said we lost a strong filmmaker Murphy Afolabi may God rest not long after this the cause of his death was revealed as we learned that the actor slipped and hit his head on a hard surface. His colleague Sheung Oloke Tuyi disclosed the sad news. According to him, Murphy died after sustaining injuries from falling in the bathroom and he had promised to share further details. Breaking, he said, Murphy Afolabi is dead. He died from injuries sustained from falling in the bathroom. Details later. The actor died just a few days after celebrating his 49th birthday, and his colleagues are taking tribute and are taking to their social media to pay tribute to him, which we are going to talk about in another video. Please, guys, subscribe to our channel for more information and also to be updated on news about his burial and also another interesting information now let's look at a few things about this actor Murphy Afolabi Murphy Afolabi was born in 1974 in Osho state and hailed from Oroki Asala Oshobo he is one of the seven children from a polygamous home. He was born on Lalekon or Latubosu Afolabi. Murphy Afolabi is a stage name. He was in a traditional family and was also a Muslim. He was the third child of his father and the first son of the Afolabi family. Ten days before he passed, Murphy had just turned 49 years old on May 5. 2023 and was hugely celebrated by his colleagues on social media he took to his social media page which the, his instagram page and posted on his birthday he said i just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to everyone for all of the birthday wishes it means a lot to me that you all took time from your busy lives to wish me a happy birthday you people are so special to me. Thanks so much, everyone, for the astonishing birthday wishes. God bless you all. I know some of you will be wondering, who is this Mafia Folabi? But let me tell you one thing that makes him very popular and, like I should say, a signature sign that you would use to know that this is Mafia Folabi. It is that thick accent. And apart from his acting, his accent is something that distinguished him from every other person in the movie industry. And I tell you, he is a very great actor and is loved by a lot, lots and lots of people. And this is part of the world what has gathered and has gained him more fans in the years of his acting. Murphy Afolabi spent most of his formative years in Oshobo, which I would say contributed to his ascent, the capital of his home state, Osho. He attended Ansaudin Islamic Boys Junior and Senior Secondary High School. Murphy earned his diploma from Osho State Polytechnic, Ire, where he studied theater arts and film production. He graduated with a higher national diploma degree from Ire Poly in 2001. The ex Yoruba movie producer is happily married and has been with his wife for nearly two decades. However, Murphy had kept his marital life away from public view, and there are very few records of her to confirm a true identity. The late actor reportedly has three kids. 
two boys and a girl. Ola mi le komo yo sore and fetia afolabi. Mafia Falabi is from famous for his many Yoruba movies, showcasing the old Dua cultural heritage and beliefs. Many of his films were either epic Yoruba movies or portrayed lifestyles of average street gang members within the southwestern communities. Some of the famous works of Mafia Falabi are Idera, Wasila Coded, Omora Kpala, Ifaoloku, Jimmy Bendel, Oloki Kyoru, Omawumi, Malaika, Dudu. And part of the movie that he recently received is Son of Mercy, which is still showing on Akpata TV. And he posted it on his Instagram page to promote the movie. Mofia Falabi started his career as a movie industry practitioner at a young age, working under the late legendary movie producer Duro Ladipo. However, Afolabi made his on-screen debut under the guidance of Bertira Lake actor Fasasi Ola Ban Kewin, better Besides known as Daguro in 1990. Murphy was an affluent scriptwriter, director and movie producer. He owns a YouTube channel named Murphy Afolabi TV. He is also the owner of Fatun's film production. Murphy also runs a travel agency called Skim Link. After the report about Mafia Falabi's death went viral, we they reached out to a couple of entertainers who share a close relationship with the actor, and this was what they had to say. Popular skit maker who had worked with Murphy before Goro saw Ikiti couldn't say much because he was destroyed. All he could munch from our phone was, This is so sad and heartbreaking. I loved that man. He was one of the few true advocate of Yoruba indigenous language. Meanwhile, it could be recalled that after the death of Mafia Falabi, which sent shockwaves across the internet in the Nigerian community, the actor was reported to have fallen in his bathroom suffering a head injury which led to his death. Following the news reaching the internet, Several stars, including Odun Ladi Adekola, have taken to social media to react to the sad news. So guys, that is all for now on Mafia for Labe's biography and his burial arrangement. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button and also the notification bell beside it to get notified of every entertainment gist all around Nigeria. Thank you very much. Peace out.